Have you ever considered how your life could change if you started prioritizing sleep? Now that's a question many of us might not have pondered upon. But let's dive a little deeper, shall we? Sleep, often overlooked, is a cornerstone of our overall health and well-being. It's not merely a time of rest, but a critical period for our bodies to repair, rejuvenate, and reset. Recent research studies and insights from biohackers like Brian Johnson have underscored the importance of good sleep hygiene. Poor sleep habits can lead to a myriad of health issues from mental fog and decreased productivity to more severe consequences like chronic diseases. On the flip side, good sleep hygiene can enhance cognitive function, bolster the immune system, and improve our mood. Sleep is not a luxury, but a necessity. It's high time we start treating it as such. In the next few moments, we will delve into 10 actionable sleep tips that can transform your life. Tip number one, prioritize sleep above all else. It's time we stop treating sleep as an afterthought, squeezed in between late night emails and early morning alarms. Instead, let's consider it as the foundation of our daily routine. Why? Because when we sleep, our bodies are hard at work repairing, restoring, and rejuvenating. It's not just about clocking in the recommended seven to nine hours, but also ensuring those hours are filled with quality, undisturbed sleep. Good sleep has the power to boost our mood, enhance our performance, and even strengthen our immune system. On the flip side, chronic sleep deprivation can lead to a host of health problems, from heart disease to depression. So, whether it's tweaking your schedule, investing in a comfortable mattress, or creating a serene sleep environment, make sleep a non-negotiable priority. Remember, quality sleep isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. Tip number two, maintain a consistent sleep schedule. There's a rhythm to life and that rhythm extends to your body's internal clock, known as the circadian rhythm. This biological mechanism dictates when you feel alert or sleepy. By keeping a steady sleep schedule, you synchronize your body's clock with your daily routines, enhancing your sleep quality. Imagine trying to catch a train that changes its schedule every day. You'd find it challenging and stressful, right? It's the same for your body when your sleep schedule is inconsistent. It becomes difficult for your body to anticipate when to wind down and prepare for sleep. Consistency is key. Try to wake up and go to bed at the same time every day, even on weekends. This regularity reinforces your body's sleep-wake cycle and can help you fall asleep and stay asleep throughout the night. Your body thrives on routine, make sleep a part of it. Tip number three, have a wind-down routine. A wind-down routine is like a signal to your body that it's time to relax and prepare for sleep. It's a transition period from the hustle and bustle of the day to the calm of the night. Think of it this way, just as you wouldn't immediately switch off a high-speed spinning fan, you shouldn't expect your mind and body to instantly switch from active mode to sleep mode. You need to gradually slow down. So what could this routine include? It could be as simple as reading a book. The act of reading not only diverts your mind from the day's stresses, but also tires your eyes, making it easier to fall asleep. You could also try some relaxation exercises like deep breathing or meditation. They help to reduce anxiety and promote feelings of calm. Remember, consistency is key. The more regular your routine, the better your body will respond to it. A calm mind leads to a calm sleep. Tip number four, eat earlier than you normally would. Firstly, consider adjusting your meal times. Try to eat at least three hours before going to bed. This is because our bodies need time to digest food before we sleep. If you're going to bed on a full stomach, your body is still working hard to process that meal, which can interfere with your ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. So, aim to finish your last meal at least three hours before you go to sleep. Tip number five, avoid stimulants like alcohol and caffeine. While a nightcap or late espresso might seem tempting, both can wreak havoc on your sleep. Caffeine is a powerful stimulant that can stay in your system for up to eight hours. So that afternoon, coffee can still be keeping you awake at bedtime. As for alcohol, while it might make you feel drowsy, it actually disrupts your sleep cycle, causing you to wake up frequently throughout the night. Try to limit these substances, especially in the hours leading up to bedtime. Tip number six, avoid light during the evening, especially blue light from screens. This type of light can trick your brain into thinking it's still daytime, disrupting your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. So, try to limit your exposure to screens in the hour or two before bed. If you absolutely must use a device, consider adjusting the settings to reduce the blue light or use a blue light filter. And remember, it's not just about avoiding light at night, it's also about getting plenty of natural light during the day to help regulate your sleep-wake cycle. 
So make time to step outside and soak up some sunshine, or let plenty of natural light into your workspace during the day. What you consume and when can significantly impact your sleep. Let's not underestimate the power of these seemingly small changes. They can make a big difference in our quest for quality sleep. So, let's eat a little earlier, be mindful of stimulants, and manage our light exposure. After all, good sleep is a cornerstone of good health. Tip number 7. Maintain an optimal body temperature. You may have noticed that it's harder to fall asleep on hot summer nights. That's because your body temperature plays a crucial role in sleep regulation. A cooler body temperature signals your brain that it's time to sleep, while a warmer body temperature can keep you alert. This is why experts suggest keeping your bedroom temperature between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit. It might seem chilly, but this range facilitates the decrease in core body temperature that's necessary for sound sleep. So, consider adjusting your thermostat or using breathable bedding to help maintain that optimal temperature. Tip number 8. Make sure your sleeping environment is peaceful. Your environment can significantly influence the quality of your sleep. It's not just about physical comfort, but also about creating a space that signals your brain that it's time to rest. This involves minimizing noise, optimizing light, and ensuring your bed and pillows are comfortable. Noise can be a major sleep disruptor. Consider using earplugs or a white noise machine if you live in a noisy area. Even better, try to create a nightly routine of quiet time before bed to help signal to your body that it's time to sleep. Light plays a significant role in our sleep patterns as well. A dark room helps signal to your brain that it's time for sleep. Blackout curtains or a sleep mask can be effective tools to ensure darkness. Lastly, your bed and pillows should be comfortable and supportive. It might seem obvious, but many people use mattresses or pillows that are too old or not the right firmness for their sleep style. Think about investing in quality sleep equipment. It can make a big difference in your sleep quality. In conclusion, your body temperature and environment can greatly influence your sleep. By maintaining an optimal body temperature and ensuring a peaceful sleeping environment, you lay the foundation for restful, rejuvenating sleep. Your environment significantly affects your sleep quality. Tip number 9. Expose yourself to light when you wake up. If it's natural light even better. When you wake up, make it a priority to expose your eyes to light, particularly natural sunlight. This practice helps reset your internal biological clock, often referred to as your circadian rhythm, it signals your brain that the day has begun, nudging it to reduce the production of sleep hormones like melatonin and boost your alertness and cognitive performance. So, open those curtains wide or step outside for a brisk morning walk. Lastly, tip number 10. Track data on your sleep quality. With advancements in technology, it's now possible to get a detailed analysis of your sleep patterns through wearable devices. These gadgets can provide insights into your sleep quality, duration, and stages. They can help you identify any sleep issues and make necessary adjustments. Remember, knowledge is power. Watch your sleep, improve your life. And there you have it, 10 tips to improve your sleep. Let's quickly recap. Prioritize sleep and create a consistent sleep schedule. Your body thrives on routine. Develop a wind-down routine like reading a book. It signals your brain to prepare for sleep. Adjust your diet and mealtimes. Eating earlier can aid digestion and improve sleep quality. Stay away from stimulants such as caffeine and alcohol, especially close to bedtime. Avoid light, particularly blue light from screens during the evening. It can disrupt your body's sleep-wake cycle. Maintain an optimal body temperature and ensure your sleeping environment is peaceful. Upon waking, expose yourself to light, natural if possible. It helps reset your biological clock. Lastly, if you can, track your sleep quality. Wearables offer insights into your sleep patterns and can help you make necessary adjustments. I hope you found informative this content. If you did, make sure to give this video a bug thumbs up and click the like button. It really does help get this content out there. If you don't want to miss out, go ahead and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.